What's going on, everybody? Boy, Flobo, Flobito, Flobo tries, and we're gonna do ourselves a little bit of a double dip this time around. I was gonna do two separate episodes, but screw it. It's Lay's, baby. We got some sandwiches in chip form for you. We got some uh, Cuban sandwich. We got some BLT. I like them both in real life. We're gonna figure out how it works in chip form because why not be about that? Now, a friend of me told me to try out the Cuban sandwich. I'm gonna do that first. I should probably do it second because I feel like a real Cuban sandwich has more flavor than BLT. BLTs are kind of interesting for me. Like, I'll, I have them, I don't hate them. I don't think I've ever ordered one straight up. I kind of just like, uh, uh, if I go to a party and they have them already pre-cut, I'll get one. But I, I can't say I'm a person that's going to be like, hmm, I could probably go for a BLT. Uh, things you need to know, they're not healthy at all. They're about the same calories, uh, 410 for the whole bag up front. But to be honest with you, you're not going to eat the sandwich chips if you're about that diet life. I'll start with this one. Bam. Smell it. First one in there. Kind of smells like barbecue uh, scented and definitely there are lays but of course first impressions can be deceiving check this out detail you've seen some black pepper on the spicing tip yeah okay so when you put the thing in your tongue the first thing you do taste is the bacon and there's a bit of a hint of tomatoes and by tomatoes, I mean like if you ever had um, ketchup potato chips, like my Canadian brothers and sisters have, it's kind of like that. So I definitely get the bacon. Uh, I definitely get like the ketchup. It all together has like a barbecue thing at the end of it, much like its smell. But I don't necessarily think it's a specifically a BLT. I guess I don't know what I was expecting. No, well, it gets the job done, like it says. It's smoky, like the bacon, barbecue, and it's crispy. There you go. I think it's pretty much something you have with an actual BLT. Um, I don't know. Six out of ten. It's favorable. It isn't bad. It's just not necessarily worth a limited edition or something at all. Cuban sandwich. Bam. Let's see what this one says. Bold, crispy, savory, tasty. Saboratino. Whoa, Woo -hoo. it's like sour cream. Reminds me of kind of cheesy in there. This one here is ruffled. This one has ridges, which just kind of makes sense because of Cuban sandwiches and like panini press. Look at it. Mm, I'm tasting the taco meat. <laughs> I'm tasting like the beef. Even though Cuban sandwich isn't really good. Okay. So, I love it. So, it does, after chewing through it, you can probably taste the notes of like the, the pork of what would be uh, in the sandwich itself. Definitely some of the, the chives if you're using that or some kind of vegetable base. It is something that doesn't taste like a Cuban sandwich necessarily, but by chewing one or eating one, they kind of want that on a side. So it's kind of like a companion piece to a Cuban sandwich. You're definitely getting the pickles though. You're definitely getting the vegetation, some of the cheese, from the melted toasted cheese. So it, it hits, it, it's not quite the Cuban sandwich together, but it's definitely good if you're about that Cuban sandwich or medio noche for those, um, that kind of life in space. Um, and definitely like the BLT one, a good companion piece. So I would say six out of 10 here, maybe about seven and a half out of 10 over here. I'll probably buy this one again because it's more of a bolder thing to say, hey, look, I'm actually trying something that's starkly different. Whereas the BLT isn't bad, but kind of just tastes like a normal flavor. And who has time for normal flavors when life's so short? Oh yeah, baby, I like it. Cheesy.